hello everyone welcome back to my channel so for today's video um i'll be collaborating with three other naturals here on youtube to walk you guys through our loc method which is liquid oil and cream for those of you who don't know and to also tell you like random things about our hair so without further ado let's get started so yeah yes this is what we're working with this is my hair right now um, I don't usually leave my hair like this a lot of the time, but it is what it is now So I'll be going in with this spray bottle. It just has water and nothing else. There's nothing in this water um, a big believer in Water is the biggest source of moisture for your hair. You, what? Caleb wants to come in the video. I don't know why but okay come I'm the biggest believer in using water as my source of moisture. I do use leave-ins, but I will use that in combination with water. When I do apply like my liquid to the hair, suppose it's a leave-in, I will do it on damp hair. I'll also be using this leave-in because it's my favorite leave-in. If you guys have watched my videos or if you haven't and you do consider watching them, you will see this product a lot and if you don't get any of the products that I talk about, at least consider getting this one because it's the bombdiggity.com. So yeah, um, I get this product from Mtindo. It retails for about 30,000 Uganda shillings. They do deliver to town, like CBD. Um, right now they're delivering for a fee. I think it's 5,000 Uganda shillings and that's quite understandable. Transportation of products and stuff is hard. But before the lockdown, they were delivering products for free. Um, I usually like to spray my hair until it's a little bit um, more than just saturated and it's damp. And then I like to squeeze and fill my hair a bit just to make sure that the water is absorbed by my hair. Water also makes my hair very malleable, so I like that. Um, the first question was, what's your favorite thing about your hair? For me, as a person, I think the one thing I like most about my hair is the fact that I can do different things with it. I can switch it up, like, with a flash of a finger. Definitely not. I do. <laughs> it takes some work. But, um, yeah, so that's my favorite thing. That today I could wear twist out and tomorrow I could wear a silk purse. And I might look like totally different people. This is a new product, by the way. I got it yesterday. I have, ever since I discovered this product, I have used um, two bottles of it. And this is my third. So it's a little bit still sealed. Caleb, could you come and open this for me, please? Thank you. Then, what do I dislike about my hair? Huh, this is very interesting. What do I dislike about my hair? I don't know. Um, I don't like the fact that it easily gets matted, so I have to detangle. Detangling is my least favorite. It's actually the one process that I don't like about natural hair. Thank you, dear. I am really fussy, like fussy. So my hair gets easily matted, and it has so many coils and blah blah blah. So I do get like single strand knots quite easily. um by all means if you want to you can section off your hair so that you do this in sections but i just like to go in like this um i don't know why then um how often do you switch up your look guys i try to do this every week but it's it's a little bit high maintenance like i don't mean in terms of costs it's just a little bit too much work so i would say every two weeks but i wash my hair every week I try to wash my hair every week so which means that I style my hair every week sometimes I do style it into like different things or sometimes it's the same style one hairstyle you've always wanted to try what have I always wanted to try I wanted to try something so many feel like right now I'm into crochets because they save me a lot of time obviously because I do work a day job at the moment so I don't like it's it's just like I wake up and I go you don't have to deal with all these so um i want to try like four looks but i want to i want to do the crochet ones i have wanted to try them i think for about six months now or longer and i know where to get them 
it's just that every time I have gone there, like I wasn't ready before, but then the last time when I was buying my hair, which I'm going to show you guys in another video of how I crochet it, um, I went there and they didn't have what I thought like would be enough packs for all this. So, and that's pretty much it. So I'm going to pass you guys to my girl Mina to walk you through her oil routine. Everyone's channel will be linked down below. And you guys saw my brother Caleb. You can check out his TikTok videos on TikTok. I'll also leave that in the description box. Hi, my name is Namuli, aka Miss Natural, and I'm going to be oiling my hair using the Aunt Jackie's multi-purpose oil. This oil is great because it's sulfate free, paraben free, no mineral oils, and you can use it on your scalp, on your hair, on your skin, on your nails. You can use it for hot oil treatments, and you can also use it as a bath oil. So I'm going to be taking off my bonnet. This is what me at home always looks like. I got this satin bonnet from uzuri natural hair salon and i've had it for i think two years or so and it hasn't aged a day now i have mostly horsey hair although some parts of my hair act like they are 4b what you should know about oiling is that you should do it every day or every two days at least and you want to make sure that you do work in sections because you want your whole scalp and all your hair strands to get that good good moisture in now i've always been natural although one time i went to the saloon and the hairstylist accidentally relaxed my hair so i had relaxed hair for a while but then i was tired of all that so i transitioned back to natural hair for about a year and then i did the big chop so it's coming to about four years now a lot of people use spray bottles when they're oiling their hair i love to go that traditional way and just put some oil on the palm of my hand and then just massage it in now sometimes i'll go in with my massager and then other times i just love to use my hands because nothing does the magic like your own fingertips and you want to make sure you use your fingertips and not your nails and then after just get some little oil and apply it to your strands and especially the tips tips lives matter after that i'll just Twist that up. And then move to the next section. One of my favorite things about having natural hair is how versatile it is. I just love how you can do several different styles, play around with it and, and have different looks. And then one thing I dislike is I could use the same products, do the same routine and my hair will turn out totally different but i guess in a way it's also a good thing because you get to have a different look i often switch up my look every two to three days it just depends on what style i have in for example if i have bantu knots i'll first leave my hair out if the curls are popping for like a day or two and then when the curls are starting to die out i'll just do a half bun or just hold it in a puff i used to wash my hair every week so i wash it every two weeks now and that is the time i'll also change the style like if i had bantu knots this time next time i'm going to have i'll have a braid out or a twist out having natural hair gives you that um workout the hairstyle up or is um, wanted to try is bangs and also color my hair i've always wanted to oh, to do that some shade of brown or a maroon i think that would be interesting now do not forget your ages but don't forget the back as well and the sides yeah that's enough oil for now now this is just my routine when i am home i'll then just put my bonnet on so that i do not lose any moisture and that's it over to you thanks girl i'm patsy mugabe and the favorite thing about my four sikaweke hair is that it's a love-hate relationship we've been at it for four and a half years this would be my fifth year going natural then what i dislike about my hair is that <laughs> 
the split end sometimes or I don't like to combat. I'm such a lazy natural, so remember what what works is what goes, but I have a problem with the split ends. Then how often I switch up my look, like I mentioned, I'm a lazy natural, so I'm always in twists between twa twist out. Yeah. Let's switch over to the cream. L O C where or L C O whereby the seeds for the cream is what I am excited to be sharing about. But before I get into it, I have a pro tip. Add some glycerin for some shine to the cream that you'll be using. And yeah, let's get into it. Right, so I section my hair. I prepare the section I want to work on. Going with my cream, I'm using the milk color leave in uh, conditioner yes and yeah that's pretty much it I moisturize I've already added the glycerin and then I put it from my from the roots to the ends check for all the split ends and then start twisting yep that's just about it over to you girl thanks girl so once you're done um, moisturizing your hair it's time to start I went for the twist out and so we're going to take it out and start the styling process I will start with my oil so when taking down I'll also have to separate the, the twist out so that they are more you know spacious and look pretty i'm thinking about doing a a bit of a fringe kind of style i love a fringe if the hair kind of accepts you know you know my favorite thing about having natural hair is it's so versatile like every single day something different or it can you know it can become anything it can go long and straight it can become any style that you want it to be depending on how the hair looks like and for me that has been a fun time but the thing i dislike the most also is that it has almost a mind of its own so you know one day i could come in here wanting to do one style and it's just like narcissus I don't want to do that we're not on the same page so reorganize so that's why I'm like I'm originally thinking about doing a fringe but if that doesn't work I'm not going to fret we'll just find something else to do So I wouldn't say I'm someone who switches up my look a lot. You'll either usually find me with my hair out in a fringe or like the middle parting as you saw it or sometimes when I'm especially lazy I'll have just your standard high puff. Once or twice a year I will sometimes be touched by an angel and head out and get a protective style but it's not every day <laughs> it's I don't know I I feel more anxious when I can't touch my hair I don't know is that weird but yeah that's just me but because I want volume I'm not going to um, reinforce the hair tie just one time is enough <sighs> there's this one hair that's like just so stretched out and in such a case if the fringe is too long we'll bring in our good friend the bobby pin Now it's leveled. The longer ones are not too long and the short ones will be fine. They give us some oomph, some 
volume so now i'm just going to get my gold bobby pins with just a little bit of pizzazz okay So yeah, this is basically it. Um, when it comes to a hairstyle I wish I could do, I think I've always wanted to do a faux hawk and there's so many variations, but the one where it goes in sections as if separate puffs going all the way in the middle, that does it for me. And I've never, I've attempted it once and it was an epic fail, so I was just like, another time but I've always always wanted to try that anywho yeah that's the style